जम फिरी रे उडेर जाऊ के डाडामा फन्जेंगले सम फिरी रे उडेर जाऊ के डाडामा फन्जेंगले सम It's the beginning of day seven and we're saying goodbye to Gokio Lakes. We're, we've got a short day today. Oh, it's only about two and a half miles to Tangnak and um, not much ascent, only a few hundred feet left. And then the special thing about today is we'll be walking on a glacier. Yay! a glacier underneath and with global warming each year this area is getting less and less snow and so the glacier on the bottom is melting at a faster pace and so each year the lakes are getting lower and lower and lower down. glacier. It's just that the rocks are covering the glaciers right now. Behind me you can see the trail leading up to Gokio Ri that we took yesterday. It's a little sketchy. I might end up on my bottom sliding down. Professional. I'll just jump. <laughs> <laughs> See? Well, here we have a better look at the glacier wall. They're covered in dirt and dust. Made it a 
the glacier after a very vertical and crumbly climb up. two and a half miles across the glacier. Um, we are here tonight at about the same altitude, 15,500 feet up, and the rest of the day is a nice rest day. Our guest houses have been placed at the most beautiful scenic areas along the river next to the lake, and like this one, at the base of a gigantic mountain. So this is a typical bedroom. It has twin beds and pillows and thick comforters are provided for us. We usually use our own sleeping bags underneath the comforters also and then whenever available we always ask and pay for our private bathroom with western style toilets and it's really worth it. Although we have our own private toilet, there isn't a sink inside, so we'd have to go out here to use the communal sink. This is a typical dining room with a furnace in the middle that uses yak dung. And during a typical year where there are lots of trekkers, there's not enough room for the porters and the guides, so this is where they sleep. Some of the guest houses even have a sunroom, which is really useful when it's cold outside. Hey, it's an early start today, 8, it's about 5.30. Today we have one of our harder days. We are climbing up 2,600 feet up Chola Pass. And la means pass, actually, that's what I learned. Um, yeah, so we're gonna start out early because once noon arises, that's when the winds will start picking up. So we wanna get up to the pass before then. ridge but now we're gonna have to go down and lose some of the elevation we've gained before we make the big climb up but I guess that's the nature of walking in the mountains ah, here's the sun ah. <laughs> I love the sun ah. we're going back into the shade the sun felt so nice
coming upon the steepest part of the climb right now and um, there are these metal ropes here because when it's snowing you have to use that to help you get up. about a little over two miles to Chongla, our next destination for the night. Okay, we're going down now. Now we have to traverse this ice field. The snow, the wind is blowing and sometimes we're getting hit by the snow. It's kind of fun. Okay, there's the one icicle right there. And just to let you know, they've been trying to get that one for the last like three minutes. Okay, go. just traversed back there and we only had one little slippery incident but it didn't result in wet bottoms. Hi, uh, I'm Robin Rai. I'm going to uh, gymnastic. <laughs> as we started this morning. to get here. This has to be the toughest day yet. Um, luckily, 
We made it over the pass. We had to. If we didn't, we would have had to turn around and go around, go back. Um, but that means I feel like we'll have no problems getting to Everest Base Camp. Then today, look at this. Look at where we are. Our guest house is right here with this magnificent view of Ama Dublam. Now it's time for some spaghetti. All right, it's the beginning of day nine. It's almost like a rest day today. We have about four miles, not very steep inclines or anything, a little bit of gradual uphill. Um, we're supposed to end in Labuche but Kieran has a different plan for us, so we're in for a surprise. The one thing about today is that we'll be meeting up with the main uh, route to, uh, to base camp, so we'll be seeing a lot more people. So we're off. to the beautiful valley behind us. It was so gorgeous with nice big mountains all around it. So these are juniper plants all around here and the locals pick the dry part of the plant and burn it. It's kind of like incense. It has a really sweet smell. convergence of the main trail and the one that we've been taking. If you look down there, there's a whole group of people coming up the main trail. And luckily, we don't have to climb that steep. From all the videos that we've seen, prior to our trip, this was the landscape that we've come to expect, kind of rocky, gravelly trail. Um, but from the route that we chose, we saw so, so many different varieties of landscape and trail, and it was just so beautiful. We've just marched onto the main route, and compared to our trail, look how big and well developed this main route is. That's Labuche behind me and originally this is our stop for today but Kieran has a different plan for us. We're going to the Pyramid. It's a research center that also hosts boarding overnight. Right next to a 
glacier! After 5.3 miles of walking today, we ended up here at the Pyramid International Laboratory Observatory. It stands about 16,400 feet up and that's the first time we'll be sleeping this high. Hopefully we'll do well tonight. Um, right now everybody's feeling really well, no altitude sickness at all. Um, and there are yaks right in front. Did you know that yaks are actually male? Female are called naks. Naks and yaks. The yaks are walking away, so I guess it's time to end this video. We've been eating really well on this trek. This is a typical breakfast for us. Um, there is so much on the menu, so many variety, and everything is so good. We've tried a lot of different things. This is a pancake. It's crunchy and fluffy like a cake. This morning I'm having French toast and look at the different omelets. It's just delicious.